in a warehouse. Let's see, what is this? Because I work in a warehouse myself. Alright, this is my first motherfucking video. I'm at work. I just snuck out for a little minute. Because I work in a warehouse. I'm trying to see where I'm going to set this motherfucker at. Dog and shit back here. I don't know why I'd be back here, dude. Because I work in a warehouse myself. Yeah, man, I'm going to start this video, start this YouTube shit. Exactly, they're about to give me a 35 cent raise in my job. Hey, fuck me. slave house. Don't never work at no motherfucking warehouse in your motherfucking life. There's so much bad energy in this motherfucker. So many stupid ass, ignorant ass folks that don't want to don't wanna be taught learn. nothing, don't want to learn shit. They get stuck on stupid. Like my mom used to say, stuck on stupid. They don't want to learn shit. They just think this warehouse is where it's at. Over time, man, nobody shit had to work no motherfucking 12 hours, 14 hours to have no good ass chick. That shit ridiculous. It you is. get home, you tired the motherfucker. You dead and don't even want to take a shower. You want to be on some trifling shit. You got to take a shower. That's true. You cook, you got to motherfucking cook. Or just stop by a fast food place, get some food from there. We're this 10 hours, bro. This is not the motherfucking way to go. This shit is not I mean, I'm there so. part time, but it's still like... I'm trying to motherfucking move to Africa on y'all ass. For real, where ain't no motherfucking rules like that. The the food fresh, the the fruits, all this shit, man. All this poison ass food out here. Nigga ain't trying to be around this shit. Like this shit really fucked up. How they got us how they got a nigga in her slave and shit. Then they have the motherfucking they have our own people watching after us. You can you can pay me a million dollars to peek behind the motherfucking box and watch a motherfucker like they be doing. Oh, Bro, that is 100% facts. Niggas do this shit at work, bro. They do this shit at work. I, 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 I and I hate it. Fucking dead shit. Watch your motherfucking ass like, damn, bro. For real. Motherfucker can't talk. For like, real. Ain't paying us that much. Motherfucker can't Motherfucker even talk, like bro. dollars a week. That ain't shit. What they call a job, they say just over broke. Motherfucker still broke. Just over broke. Shane, what's up, Yo, man? that's just over broke. Anybody out there tomorrow? Uh, you ain't really gotta read no books, but depending on what you want to learn. That's fact. You can read about psychology, like different little shit. Like the best thing to read, if you gonna read, is to read some shit about your motherfucking self. Try to find yourself before you try to even jump in a relationship. Why you trying to do anything, basically? I done did so many jobs and shit. Shit, sure, bro. It's without knowing who the fact. fuck I was, without, you know what I'm saying, doing some research because they don't teach you to teach, I mean, they don't, they don't teach you to learn shit like this, especially in school. School, that's really Facts. a waste of time. All you need is the basic shit. They don't teach you how to discover and learn the life you're living. No, it's as soon as you walk in, oh, numbers, numbers, oh, oh this shit that other people have done, and it doesn't even matter at this point. Like yeah, about to say writing, reading, math. Like we're living in the now. All the other shit, lies, history. What the fuck history. do I? What the fuck? Like history. I was so good at history. Now I look back at it, I'm like, why the fuck did I care so much? It's about shit that has nothing to do with us. You know what I'm saying? Like we're in the now. Like what the fuck? Shit, some bullshit. Like for real. This how much I hate this job. I really left this motherfucker to start a motherfucking YouTube channel. Right, motherfucker here in the warehouse, goddamn. In the so warehouse, guys. I tell you something. Do not ever work in no motherfucking warehouse. This shit so dead. This shit depressing. Hey, look how dark it is in here. It's depressing as hell. Nah, fuck man, wanna be here? In 12 hours, let alone 12 hours in this whole something. Nah, this ass people. But shit, I ain't gonna lie. I try to keep a positive ass mind frame, mindset. Bro. That will keep me going, though. In I try this to say. But it's hard to be spiritual. It's hard to be spiritual when you're in a place another. like this because you got so many negative spirits trying to keep you down. They, hey, 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 you know what I think this is it. You know what I'm saying? They just going back and forth with each other. They want you to in entertain they demons. That's fact. Anybody got no time for this shit? Like, nigga trying to be on some rich shit. Like, you ain't talking like, it ain't gonna be about money. Like, we ain't talking with no common sense. I do not want to talk to you. It goes for anybody. We ain't talking with no common sense. Mm hmm. None of this shit, and they look at me, judge me shit, because I'm tatted up and all this shit. Tattoos is just tattoos, and I'm more ink on the way. I just love art, but yeah, man, like, 
Oh, this shit five minutes. I gotta get back. I know they looking for me. I gotta get back out there and shit, but <laughs> I know they looking for me. I'll let y'all this is my first video. I probably make another one tonight, I don't know. That's funny. I need I'll to watch this part one. too. I'll make another one tonight, like, I don't know. Depending on how I feel, motherfucker. How I feel, yeah. motherfucker. That's all I wanted to holler at y'all about. Do not ever come no motherfucking warehouse unless you got. Unless that's your last resort type shit. For real. This is my last resort type shit. This is my last warehouse. I swear to God, I'm not finna walk into nobody else establishment. It's true. And throw no damn boxes nowhere. Replace no boxes. <laughs> Thank Let them motherfuckers talk me in a kind of way. None of this shit. I'm not finna work hard for no fucking body. This motherfucker's this 60 and. 50 years old and this motherfucker walk around bad back and some old shit. They Bro, there's literally about a bunch of people in my job that's been there for 25, almost 30 years. And they're like, bro, get out of here. I mean, not get out of here, but it's like, damn, bro, how did you go through this shit? They been working all their damn life and get and get mad at you when you ain't working as hard as they used to work. Like, for real. I'm small, like, damn, I ain't finna, I ain't breaking my motherfucking baby walk around these motherfuckers. <laughs> for real. 40, 50. Shit, uh, you gotta make all these extra ass sounds just to get up. Hell no, nah, I wanna hop, hop my ass up, be on my motherfucking way. That's facts. For real, I ain't trying to be in this motherfucker. Can't do shit, you can't even, you can't even break your bitch back. Cause your back hurt. Your warehouse done broke your back. <laughs> like for real. Motherfucker gotta get mine. Get wind or just get some knowledge, man. Motherfuckers don't want no knowledge nowadays. Motherfuckers just want money. We club and party and shit. And I try to keep my vibration high and just try to, you know what I'm saying, mellow myself out. Yeah. But it's hard as fuck doing the warehouse. I ain't even gonna lie. It's hard as fuck. It's true shit. So maybe when I make another video when I'm outside this motherfucker, I'll be more calm and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard. Your energy will change just coming in this motherfucker. I, uh, positive. I don't care how spiritual. I don't care how spiritual you is. If you walk in a motherfucking warehouse, your ass gonna be less real, so goddamn it. Your motherfucking soul. For real. You know, I can't even say how many times I'm like, before I get in there, I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's get this day popping. And then once I'm in there, I'm like, man, fuck this shit, man. I'm trying to go home. Your spirit gonna leave your body. You, you ain't gonna wanna do shit. You, gonna, you ain't gonna wanna motherfucking, you just ain't gonna wanna embrace life. You gonna be like, damn, I'm still in this motherfucker. You look around. Six hours and pass, you still in this motherfucker. You ain't getting no sun, no vitamin D, none of this shit. You just in this hole. Moving <sighs> pallets. All right, it's almost that time. It's what go. We say all fucking day. Like, we at this bitch, ain't it? You know, another day. Like, I don't know. I'm tired of saying this shit. Nigga want to see some shit. Nigga want to travel or something. Like, bro, y'all don't want to do nothing. Y'all, we in here making these folks rich, and they talking to us any type of way. It's true. Running your job. Y'all gonna get fired. Y'all don't pick up your production. Why the fuck is we on production? We already working for y'all. We gotta dish this shit out fast, too. Exactly. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. They be dead ass mad when you ain't working as hard as they working. Like, bro, I'm not finna work as hard as you. Y'all looking at it like a nigga lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm smart. What the fuck? I'm finna really break my back in this motherfucker because y'all want to, because y'all trying to be a lead. Y'all ain't here snitching and shit. On other folks because they talking and shit, but y'all be doing the same shit. For real. See how negative this shit is? Look how negative I'm talking because I'm in a negative ass environment. If I was around some nature or something like some motherfucking peaceful shit, I won't even be talking like this. It's just it's facts. You put in stressful ass environments, your conversation tends to be stressful, if y'all feel me. This, this is 100% facts. I work in a warehouse stressful. myself. He's not capping. This shit is motherfucking. Stressing and depressing. This man is not capping. Suppression. God damn it. What else? Combine all this shit together. In the one. That's what this shit is. I'm gonna go get back on the floor. Cause I know a motherfucker looking for me. But alright, y'all. Like he said, this, the warehouse that I'm at now, this is my last warehouse I'm working at. If I get a different job, it's definitely not gonna be in the warehouse. Fuck that shit. I ain't gonna say what job it was, and I ain't gonna say who the person was. So it was like two years ago. This how this how much these warehouses don't care about you. You really only a number. So I was in a. Uh... They replace your ass quick as shit. You know how many people I seen that were there seven years, ten years, gone. Another person right back in. Uh, I work at uh CDS, CDS Logistics. It's all the way like near Allentown. Um. 
designated spot for my everyday area where I work at, at this particular warehouse. And my supervisor had sent two of us over. Gone and then another person right back in their uh, spot. We was doing something different that day. That I mean, that's that's before. every job, but you know. The same job, really. If they need you to do something else, you're always going to do something else. I don't care how comfortable you are with doing the shit you're doing. They're going to put you somewhere else. Especially if they don't like you. They just want to throw your ass somewhere. But, yeah, so hey, me and this girl, hey, got sent to a different area. That's true. They do that a lot. Like, let's say... You know, you never done something or you're not comfortable with it and they send you there and they don't go fuck if you be like, um, I'm not trained in that. They don't give a shit. Get your ass over there. Like what? So we over there picking and stuff. Like it was, it's a, it was a normal day, really. So everything going, cover static, all of that. So next thing I know, I hear some boxes fall. I turn around. <laughs> it's a lady on the floor. Why did I, I mean, lie? I ain't, like, I ain't gonna put none of her family, I ain't gonna put none of her name in this shit or nothing, but it was laid on the floor and she was just gasping for air. Oh, shit. So, and it looked like she was having a heart attack or she was, she was having something like a stroke. Cause I had looked over at her and then like, she just was, it was like she couldn't, like her mind was one there, but her body still was there, like she was breathing, trying to get air. And everybody was running, trying to get the supervisor and all that, so. They was trying to get um, a supervisor to come over there and assist her, which took forever. Like, like if someone, if somebody was to steal a fucking some of their product out their fucking warehouse, they would have came quicker than that because I didn't seen it happen before. Like, she was just over there laying for like at least ten minutes for somebody even came over there. So, to make a Bro, long story what? short, the lady ended up dying. Like, for real, she died right behind. Right behind us, she died. Our rest in peace. But well, she ain't. Well, she still like the living, floating consciousness. But yeah, she had end up dying. Would you believe me if I tell you? Bro. A, a, a manager, a supervisor came over, came over there and told us to start back picking. Like you want no dead body behind us. This is that. Like for real. That's that's when I realized the folks really do not give a fuck about us. We are really just another number in them motherfuckers to them folks. Like, a lady just fucking died, and she's still on the floor. Like, behind us, dead. Y'all gonna come over there and tell us to start back picking? What? Like, that mean y'all don't care about her. Y'all don't give a fuck about us. That shit, put, that shit put me in the mind of the slavery days, like, back in the day. Because you, you know I ain't nothing but a bunch of black folks in them motherfucker. really. You might see, like, one or two white people working. Like, one or two. No lie, I mean, I don't know, if well, at my job, yeah, yeah, he's, he's speaking the truth, he's speaking the truth. At that time, I ain't seen none, but. There's literally nothing but Colombians, Dominicans, and Puerto Ricans at my job. There's, like, five white people at, at tops. I'm not saying, you know, they get treated better, but I'm just saying how I was looking at these warehouses. Like, I'm pretty sure back in the day when slaves were picking cotton or whatever they were picking, I'm pretty sure some of them were passing out because of their heat and then some of them were dying. And I feel like the slave masters used to tell them folks to, all right, nothing to see here. Keep on working. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was like that. So, in this day and time, we still slaves. Like, this shit, slavery is still going the fuck on. It's still going on. That's why I said don't ever work. It's tighter than with jobs. I'm saying it because I don't like my job. No. My job don't like me. But... I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Don't walk in that smoke. All right, what he what he was saying is is facts, especially the 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 video before. But um, yeah, don't don't do it. Like I'm at I'm working at a I'm working at a warehouse now, and I ain't doing that shit no more. So my next job or whatever it may be is definitely not in the fucking warehouse. I only lasted six months. Yeah, I'm surprisingly like four months into my job. And it's already like I'm getting like tired of it. Like after no, after month three I was getting tired of it. Now I'm like, yo, I don't go fuck. I do what I want in that bitch, you know. Shit. I'd rather do trucking than where I was work. Treat you more like a robot than what? But yeah. Um let's get let's get some games in. Hold up. <laughs> Get the button, 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 get the button